cheaper one because it does the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I, it, oh yeah, we live, we live. Hey, of course, just keep it going, keep it going. I like, yeah, but no, I had the great job on there, and like I said, you went over there like the Apostle Paul, mm-hmm. and uh, on the road to Damascus, and I think a lot of them uh, have seen the light. And uh, there's gonna be, um, there's well, always gonna be people out there who are just retarded. Craig, here's the thing, man. That's really at this point in time, right? We're six years in, so going on seven years in. It's gonna be 2020 in a, in a few months. Yeah, it's over. If you're still trying to hold, <laughs> if you're still trying to hold a line and savage, uh, uh, you know, salvage any little hope that you have of them changing anything, it's 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 a wrap, man. We, it's it's so bad they fucking yanked the cigarettes and cigar smokes out of fucking their 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 exclusives. That's that's how yeah. bad. Yeah, I don't know, what's up with that? Well, like, no, no, no. Gears is gonna have a patch. Day one, uh, nicotine. If, 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 yeah, nic- nicoderm patch. Nicoderm, like what the, the fuck is that about? Baby. CQ control quality release. That, yeah. that's, hey. that's a big deal. Hey, and so. it's already rumored Gear Six is going to be a revision of Splatoon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, We're getting rid of the bullets. We paint. <laughs> we paint. <laughs> what did that did happen? <laughs> but that doesn't even make sense. Like, what's what's the what's the what kind of dog shit is that? Yeah. <laughs> what, like, no we're gonna have sticker. Like, why is that even a conversation piece? Why? Why did? Why did Coalition Microsoft even do something like that? Like, because yeah. Mike. Well, I know why. I don't, don't want to say it here, <laughs> but I know why. You know why? What is it? Is it fucking <laughs> yeah. like? What is it? Is it top secret material or some shit? No, not really top secret. It's it's the direction that they're going. So I'll, I'll just leave it there. If you can't see the direction that they're going, then you're. I mean, a blind man. I don't get it, though, because you still have guns and you, like, you chainsaw motherfuckers in half. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a certain, okay, there's a certain console maker that they're trying to impress. I'll just leave it there. (laughs) Oh! Who else is there to impress? Nintendo, man. Nintendo. Nintendo. Like they Nintendo don't have characters that smoke or something? No, they, they, they are... Think about it. Microsoft is a third-party publisher now, right? Once they phase out the Xbox... Yeah, but, but, but hold up. Doesn't the guy No More Heroes, Travis, isn't he a smoker? Yeah. Uh, Midnight Toker, yeah. yeah. But, but if... Yeah. But Nintendo right, no, no. is officially more mature rated than Xbox. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. I mean, you look at games like Bayonetta and, and some of those other games, I mean... Yeah, it's it's, yeah, it's, bad. I, I, it's don't bad. Under, I don't understand that move. Like, yeah, I, yeah. Listen, it'll be it'll be the you you remember back in the day when it was the Sega versus Nintendo. You had the Sega Genesis versus the SNES, and Mortal Kombat came out. Sega Genesis had the blood. Super Nintendo had the sweat. Mm-hmm. Those days are coming back again, but Xbox is going to play that role. Yeah, I, I was told by somebody who um, who works pretty high up that. Uh, what Microsoft was going to do, it was going to piss off the community, but it was going to make gamers very happy. You're starting to see that bear fruit. Yeah. So, but but Nintendo, if Nintendo, if you're doing business with Nintendo, you want to put stuff on their platform, and they put their arm around you like Don Coleone and say, "Look, your games are too violent. I need to see a whole show where you don't show any violence. That way, we can start selling that to." Our shareholders and investors that you all are going in a different direction. That explains E3. That explains why you haven't seen uh, gameplay on Gears. They're holding it to the very last minute because yeah. they want Nintendo to publish. You know, they want to publish on Nintendo too, but they want Nintendo to publish some of their games on uh, Xbox. Yeah, but that's not happening. Nintendo's not going to do that though. Yeah. I know, but that, that, that doesn't mean they can't try. Yeah, they so they try. Super, Super Lucky's Tale was the first thing that. They wanted to show Nintendo, hey, look, yep. we have these games too. We'll put them on your platform. How about mm-hmm. we get some of your stuff on ours? And that'll kind of help them fill out that Game Pass library. Yeah. They yeah, they, 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 they officially want to go a whole different route than what Sony's going. Um, Nintendo has their lane, and, it, and Sony right now wants to carve out theirs yeah. with the whole Game Pass, you know, friendly. Which is fine. I mean, I'm not throwing it under the bus. I mean, I think it's a good sound strategy. They they went toe to toe with Sony, and Sony knocked them out. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it's just uh, let's just call it like it is. Even that what's his name that M2K Moss was saying this the other day. 
Mm -hmm. So he was saying, look, they lined up for a fight and Microsoft got, they didn't get pushed down. They didn't get, they got, they got knocked the fuck out. They're done. So what, and they can say, well, they're making another console, but Phil Spencer has said publicly, you don't need to buy the console to play the games. And he's right. So it's not, that's just, we, we got to let the reality sink in at this point. Yeah. So, which it has. So shout out to Jada Up City for going on the um, that podcast because reality has sat in. There is always going to be one strag out there who thinks that it's going to be different. That's why they're running around saying, well, Sony's going to put games day and date because they, you know, the Sony has come out and said that they don't think, they think we're a decade, a decade away from streaming being prevalent. Yeah, that's what's so, funny because they said it themselves, they're a long way. They're they looking at it as a long-term strategy. Correct. And they made it is right. true. The information is out there. Like, like everybody, like, let's be honest. The only dudes that are hyping this game streaming hard is the Xbox dude. Because they yeah. really have nothing left. This is their last, this last <laughs> lifeline. But this is a terrible lifeline. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. This is this is this is like the like because the reality is this one, the consumer audience, even if they wanted game streaming, right. we don't have the infrastructure yet. You know, motherfuckers are not gonna game streaming if you're on Comcast. Yeah, I'm gonna let you know right now. You on Comcast? You ain't game streaming. Them motherfuckers suck. Ain't and nobody like, well, got good com. Them motherfuckers garbage. Spectrum, you ain't game streaming. Okay? Well, I got if Spectrum. You, I should be okay according man, to Man, Spectrum's them. garbage, dog. You know. Well, that. I didn't Ever say that. Fucking but it like, <laughs> and merge, man. You know, if you on Sprint, you ain't get you ain't game streaming yeah, right? on too. your phone. I mean, there's a lot of ISPs out there that are just garbage. You know, I don't disagree. Just garbage. But you know, you constantly, is, you constantly have yeah. to fight for the speed you're paying for. Yeah, you know. So I remember what is, is it with Spectrum? I uh, had um a 400 meg package, right? Damn. But yet none of my tests would go over 150, no matter what I did. <laughs> and I'm constantly complaining to them. I'm like, how is this possible? It got to the point where I, I would connect the uh the laptop directly to the modem what? on the ether cord, and I still couldn't break 200. Really. I'm well, like, this is some bullshit. You know well, what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, they they um, if they want more, they're like, well, they have to get more people to get into PS now, and all Sony has to do is drop the price. That's what they're gonna have to do. They they're gonna have to make it at the bare minimum the same price as Netflix. You know, at least for a time period, if you sign up now, you can, we'll give it to you for twelve bucks a month for one year. Something like that, you know. They're, it's gonna have to come down because I don't think it's worth nineteen dollars. But here's or whatever the thing, though. Here's the mm-hmm. thing, though. Only, I mean, granted. Now, I'm not trying to defend the corporation, or whatever. Okay, mm-hmm. but I always said, if fucking these services are only a dollar, how are the games making money? I, they're according to a lot of them, they're they're not. But I need to thank both you gentlemen on something. I just recently went over a thousand subs. And uh, that's no congratulations. Doubt. Yeah, that is no oh, doubt because you got J Dub. You were you made your you let you know you were able to come on when something uh, was breaking and Point Rock. I I had what three four hundred subs maybe, and you were you were willing to reach out and uh, put course, me on man. your podcast. Man, so you were the I, voice of Xbox. I, you were the I am I am now the king of Xbox. I told Scumcast. Oh, I said, look, just as Porter Rock and next the PlayStation Legion. I have annexed the community. So you are now, and that's why you, we have the Apostle Jada up here. He's going to Xbox. Bio. See, I am kind. Like Xerxes said in uh, 300, I am kind. So just, you know, we're going to keep it like that. But all you all you idiots out there that ran your mouth saying 4K this and the beast is coming, there's a penance to be paid for that. Just keep your heads down and everything's fine. You know, but as soon as you pop it up and you start having diarrhea of the mouth. Oh yeah, I'll be there. I will pull your pants down in front of everybody. Yep. So, but you know, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But I so want to give a- This is the thing you went through crossfire. Tell us how that experience being the first pony <laughs> to invade, to invade. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's it. You, 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 you put the chink in the armor. It's done. The floodgates hey. are open. Hey, 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 I'll tell you this, man. <laughs> You can avoid it all you want, but eventually you got to come through that door of greatness. And that's you know, <laughs> a lot of guys. They've been running for six years. They've been running from me. And uh, eventually, you know, I-, I told him when Phil Spencer went over to Sony and took a picture with Sean Layton, I told him that was <laughs> that, that that signature. That was the handshake, the wink, and the nod. 
and everything since then has been going what exactly as planned. So yeah, it, was, it was it was it was good being on there, man. Cool. Um, have fun. Guys in the chat and everything, they respond well. They welcome me uh, with arms wide open and everything. Had a great show. Um, had fun the with crap and uh, Xbox four four eight and um, uh, Fox Fox uh, Fo- Fox. I don't want to get, a, Wait, get Lady a, Fox. Yeah, Fire, Lady Fox. Yeah. I don't want to mess up her name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, a couple of other Lady brothers. Fox. I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Lady Fox, Fox Fire. Ha- have fun, man. Great chemistry. Um, but who avoided? Who avoided the show? Huh? <laughs> Who avoided the show? I heard there was a panel oh, member yeah. that was MIA. Called So Shady or somebody. Slim Shady, So Shady. Somebody Slim like, Shady, So Shady? I think I know who it yeah, is. Yeah, somebody mm-hmm. that was, uh, you know, they they, they kind of wanted to be some confrontation or whatever. But, you know, I, I came in with my axe and nobody <laughs> was there. And uh, I thought I was going to tell somebody to leave my home. And that, did, that didn't work out. So, you know, maybe another day. You never know. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, man, we just talked about... um. <clears throat> The realities. We, yes. I mean, at this, at this point in time, like I said, it's six years in. Generation is over. It's writing on the wall. You can play Xbox games, you know, pretty soon, almost anywhere, everywhere. All the car- Xbox characters going to other or has been offered on other platforms. There's no more bullets in the gun. There's no more holding the line. The ship, the Titanic, is already cracked. So <laughs> sitting there, you know, with the with the violin and everything playing until it goes all the way down. There's no sense of doing that. What what am, what is there? Uh, we've been saying this, Porter Rock and Craig. I mean, but mm-hmm. Porter Rock, especially you, we've been saying this what four or five years. Yeah, yeah. I said this for a long time. Everybody on our channels saying this exact same stuff that's going on, and now there's there's a sense of acceptance, but it's also a sense of well, this is what we wanted all along. They're doing a great job. It's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> motherfuckers calling me fanboys for saying it. Now it's that's what they think. All I'm like, man, these motherfuckers. Exactly. <laughs> like, we had, like we had had a thousand fights over this shit, and now all of a sudden, oh, yeah, we well, we knew that was going to happen. That was, uh, come on, come on. Like, yeah, right there. Now, no, but now it's 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 about the quality between Game Pass and PS Now. Oh, I'm like, what the fuck? All right, all right. I'm yeah. like, hold up. We, mm-hmm. we arguing which which service has better games, not the consoles. Yeah, but service. the service plans. <laughs> like the service plans can't even access all the games. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is we doing? Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's um. It, it's bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I love it. And uh, these cats, like I said, Beast is coming. And I sat down and I told everybody on 60 frames, no lag. I said, this is not going to go the way you all think. And it did because they had no games to. I mean, anytime you have guys like Crap Gaming, who I thought was the linchpin, because when he said this is bullshit, what's going on, that allows a lot of other people to come up for air and say, yeah, this is nuts. You know, this is crazy, you know, and he was kind of as an influencer, mm-hmm. excuse me, his words, not mine. But that's a big deal. So but in, in the chat and uh, and J-Dub here again, not only went on the crossfire, he went on to Matt's gaming and uh, and they, man, they they're still hating on him over there in that comment section. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're still what happened there? But let, let, me tell you, let me tell you what happened for the rock. <laughs> so. I'm seeing what's going on, right? And and I, I decided, I said, you know what? Let me do a video. Let me, let me, you know, I hadn't did a video in a long time. Let me do a video. And I'm I'm gonna, you know, take my Kratos hat off. I'm gonna just be J dub for a day. And I'm gonna tell people how we can make Xbox great again. Yes. And so I listed eight ways to make Xbox great again. Um, first thing, reason. the first thing was to get rid of Game Pass. And uh they, you know, and, and I went down the line, reversed the course on um no man left behind reverse course on uh games any and everywhere you know play anywhere stuff reverse course on your games going to steam reverse course on basically all this shit that phil spencer has been trying to throw at the wall and stick there's always something you got to get give up in order to get what you want that's just right. always and guys took that as well I, I they said basically i said a game pass was bad i did not say that i like game pass I think it's a great idea. The only problem is um, the way it's set up, you're only going to be able to get a handful of decent games on there. And at this point in time, 
Ubisoft has already come up with their saying that they're going to have their own store. Um, EA obviously have their own stuff. Everybody is going to start. All these developers and publishers are about to start taking their games off of Game Pass. And then we're going to be stuck with a Game Pass full of Xbox only games, which are the reason we're so upset and mad because those games are shit. You see what I'm saying? That so they're not so I had I explained myself, but they didn't they probably didn't watch the video long enough to understand my points. So shout out to Mass Gaming. He had me on there and we had this discussion. We went point by point. I told them my points of where I was. He agreed with a lot of it. Um the points I were making was were, were very valid. And yeah. this is the only way. The reason Microsoft went to the whole game pass thing, right? Is because the guys, for one, did not support the games in the beginning of the generation. Yeah. The hardware wasn't selling, so they needed to unload some of it. The, they had to unload a lot of this stuff. So now that the pocket strings have been released, now they have money to invest and money to do stuff. Now they can revert back to the way things were, to start competing again and start going fire for fire, console for console, and everything else. But at this point in time, the way things are, they're, they're not going to focus on any of that. Game Pass is Xbox. They're going to focus on that, and it's probably going to fail disastrous once these third-party publishers remove their games off of it yeah. and put it into their own store. Facts. Think about it. You got Game you gotta Pass, pay the bills. Xbox, you pay the bills too. a bunch so, of low-rated right. 50s and 60s games, and then you have Ubisoft with all their big blockbuster games, the Division and all this. Then you have Activision with their store with uh you know the blizzard store with with destiny call of duty and all that stuff and then you have you know all of these people that have games that are more appealing to us you know i'll take an ea activision ubisoft games any day over a microsoft game and because yeah. they haven't given us anything you know besides the halo gears and forza so that's the point that i was trying to make and i think i, I made my case a lot of people are still with the old guard no feel you know he's he's doing <laughs> It's not working. We have no MPD wins in five years, five and a half years. Nintendo is moving into second place within a, a month. Well, no, no, no. They won MPD when Xbox One S came out in August of is it sixteen or seventeen? Whichever one came out was the S came 16. out. Yeah, but yeah, that, I think that, they won that. One. Yeah, that was I mean, shit. That was. Oh no, you're right. No, 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 no. Overall, no, I got you. I keep telling people, Sony's won six years straight of MPDs. Who cares? You know if if you know, switch win a, a year or whatever, or like it, it doesn't matter. Generation's been over, so it doesn't exactly. matter. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the band, man. Thank you for joining the podcast. Oh, uh, you got a super chat too. Let's, yeah, let me do the super chat. Yeah. Ruben Burke, what's going on? He said, Much love to the show with MS Sony going towards streaming their games everywhere. I still want a PS5 and Xbox. Why does options get people so mad? I will say this it's not so much the option or going towards streaming, right. Because notice Sony went into streaming, no one really gave a fuck. Like, they've been doing it for four years, no one really cares, right? So it's really the Xbox crowd that's jumping on the train, right? But mm -hmm. the problem is, what's the whole point of streaming, right? You're streaming your games everywhere, right? But here's, mm -hmm. just like J-Dub presented, what the fuck are you streaming? If you don't give a shit about the games on the console natively, it's like Crackdown 3 is not going to get better because you're playing it on a five-inch screen on the go. It's exactly. not it's not gonna so like what are you streaming anyway? You know, you're putting all this focus, what's being streamed? That's what you these double A studios come into question. You the know games, yeah, right. the games are not gonna get better on a five-inch screen with um I with iPod earbuds. Yep. Yeah, you know, if four if native 4K Dolby Atmos didn't do anything, what the yep. fuck is a five-inch screen on the 5G network that you'll get in a minute? And that's even if you get 5G network in your area, because you may not get that for a while. Let me ask you a question. After all this waiting for Battletoads, what oh did you expect that? Okay, what did you expect that game to look like? Because I don't know about y'all. I was expecting that shit to look like the damn Toad from uh, no. Killer Instinct. Yes, that's that's what we wanted. That's what I game thought. Wanted. That's what that, we're going that to. That shit looks like an NES sequel. That shit looks like it was made for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> hey, that was a Xbox Live. Well, arcade. I don't think you can call it Battletoads anymore. They have filed a complaint. And the frogs have won an injunction, and they want it to be called <laughs> Battle Frog. So this is Yo, what you guys know. I'm, I'm just saying. It's going to be 4K. Is, you can't fuck with 4K. No, before E3, 
All I kept hearing was battle toads as if these dudes started gaming on Super Nintendo. I'm like, most of y'all started gaming on 360. Thank exactly. <laughs> right? but I swear to God, these guys made it seem like battle toads was that game that the whole entire like they made it seem like it was Super Mario, right? Bro, you missing like, the, the sad like, part, bro. And I'm and I'm thinking. I'm thinking, bro, I don't remember Battletoads ever being that popular. Like, I remember <laughs> playing it, but it wasn't that popular. But I'm like, fuck, right? Y'all find it funny how they abandoned this shit, though, after the reveal? Oh, nobody was that hype for Battletoads. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's, like, exactly. that's the funny <laughs> part. Now nobody <laughs> talks about it. Right, they, 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 it. they said that game was shitty on the <laughs> So, of course, it was going to be shitty on our Xbox. No, that's the funny <laughs> part. Nobody, nobody hypes Battletoads no more. That conversation died. Yep. Immediately, I'm like, I, really? So nobody was talking about battle till I could have fucking sworn that was like one of the main highlights going into the fucking show, aside from Gears of War gameplay. For real, for like the last two years, all battle toes they add that shit on the list. E3 comes, the list got reduced. <laughs> like, and now showing gameplay, Porter Rock is is too much for for us now. Like, are you serious? Showing gameplay is too much. <laughs> what? You know, it's like, well, y'all guys don't complain when when you don't see Call of Duty early on uh, gameplay on Call of Duty. I'm like, motherfucker, we just call it the same shit. <laughs> same shit for twelve years. Like, like if games came out every year, no one would give a fuck. Yeah, There'll be so much like, you can do to like, Call of Duty to tweak think, it. The same yeah. shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, call of Duty, really? Same knife like, animation, same sliding shit. It's literally the same. exact same game shit. with a different slab of paint. That's it's it. It's the same shit since 2007. <clears throat> yeah. 12 years so, of the same game. But what they've been pushed into is that because there's no information coming out, and Sony did take the wind out of their sails with their announcement of what the PS5 is going to you know, have. And then AMD had their big thing you know, at CES or whatever that thing was. Um now it is coming down to well, the Xbox is going to be more powerful, and then those devs came out and said it is not happening, you know. And then there, and so my understanding is that the is that it don't it won't matter because they're both going to do four K. They're both going to do sixty frames a second. So the, the thing is, only Phil Phil can only talk around that statement, right? And the reason why, because yeah. he doesn't know the final product, he doesn't know the final specifications of Sony. That's why That's he can't declare that he has the most powerful console because he doesn't know shit about so it. It won't matter well, because I've been saying that 60. for the longest. I've been yeah, telling he doesn't know it. it it's so so obvious. Sony and Microsoft can say who's the most powerful because they don't know what the other dude is doing. Right. You can't <laughs> say I'm the most powerful <laughs> without knowing what the other competitors are creating. Like you don't know. There's really only one company that knows, and that's yep. AMD. They are the only ones, and notice none of the leaks or the insiders say, oh, I got an AMD insider. Technically, mm -hmm. those are the only people that absolutely know who's more powerful, because they're the ones that's given up the components. And exactly. guess what? AMD is not going to say shit because they know they want the trust of these two companies. They don't want to fuck that up, because they're making yeah. crazy money being exclusive to console manufacturers, at least when it comes to Xbox and PlayStation, they're providing pretty much 100% of the hardware, the CPU and the GPU. Yeah, so it's, it that's crazy. Well, I, I have an inside AMD source. Shout out to my source. Oh, who oh, no, 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 Look, look, look. <laughs> I am, and J-Dub endorsed me as the tech guy. Okay, so I, I went to fuck. No, I went to fuck nigga university. Oh, okay. Shit. So graduated number twenty two out of twenty people. So yeah, so it's, you know, so, it's, uh, so yeah, twenty two out of twenty people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was there. I was there in the back of the class. Got my degree, and they have to call me IT expert at this point. So, so Porter Rock, man, we, we, we got one subject we need to go ahead and talk about. Just talk. Uh, only because I'm tired of seeing it on my feed. I'm tired of guys posting it. Well, and I mean, yeah, I you really advertise a lot of shit, though. Well, <laughs> let me do let me do the super chat. El Matador, oh, yeah. man, to my super chat. He says, So now Sony anti consumer because FF7 exclusivity. No, Sony's a beast. Yeah, that's what it is, man. That's it it And you know what's funny? They even said it for next gen. Yo, we're gonna go out here and we're gonna fight for exclusive yeah. content. And, and for third party, we're gonna go after exclusive, you know, time exclusivity. They yep. put listen. If you want an Xbox dude and you're gonna buy Scarlet, you know, you know, whatever, you know, you buy you buy whatever you want. But understand this: Sony is gonna is gonna prevent a lot of top games from being day one on that Scarlet. Yeah, you need to ask Phil what is he doing to at least counter that. Because you cannot, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm yeah, they got I'm Ray Tracy. That you guys, you guys better ask yourselves 
If you're going to pay $500 for a Scarlet and you know the competitor is telling to your face, hey, there's going to be games you can't play day one, you better look at the person making that counsel and be like, yo, Phil, you, you going to do something or you just going to stand there? Yeah. Like, well, what you going to do? Listen. We've already we've already established a long ass time ago, right? Even before this shit got to where it was, we said it numerous times. Phil is not the fucking guy. He's not the one. He's not the one that's going to save this fucking company. He's looking at it from a business perspective in terms of making money. He don't care about the loyal and faithful who buy these products. He just doesn't care. You know, yeah. it's all about maximizing that profit. He sees it like this: twelve of you. Let, let's say hypothetically, twelve of you bought fucking Gears of War, right, on Xbox. He looks at the other side and goes, "Wow." There's like five thousand of more, five thousand more potential buyers. I'm gonna put it over there. That's his whole yeah. mindset. And one of the twelve only played it for twenty minutes. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's fucked up though? This, 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 this is where it gets even oh, more sad. Yo, oh, I was dying. Yo, I was like, man, I wish I was in this podcast because I heard it after it was recorded. Yo, if I would have heard that shit live, oh, I would have jumped out. I would have jumped out. I would be like, yo, I beat Gears of War. <laughs> Like fuck is you doing? Yeah. yeah, that's what we ought to do. We ought, we ought to all run Gears of War one night and say ponies playing gears. You know what I mean? We need to be pony to pony up on Gears Five and just run because yeah. half of them don't yeah. even play it. Yo, Carlos mm -hmm. for two dollars. He says, Yo, Rylep, kick rocks, cornball, sup, my peoples. Damn. Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> <That was laughs> oh, yo, and Furious one is doing the most in here. There's my one man. Thing I want to talk. I want to. I really don't want to talk about it, but I think we need to talk about it. So What's guys, up? stay out of our Twitter mentions and. What's up? But this whole uh, censorship, Nintendo censorship. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Let's do this. I'm, I, I always get these comments from these guys with these uh, anime, you know, logos, logos, and everything. And because I think uh, somebody uh, Sony blurred out or removed a butt cheek or something from one of the from somebody, one of these characters in, in one of these games or whatever, and they threw a big hissy fit about it. And these guys like the anime stuff, and they like seeing the the boobs and the the ass and the weird. You know, it's kind of weird to me. But and then you look at games like The Last of Us Two, that's super violent. They got you know women kissing in there. They got they got some of everything, right? Super super realistic graphical stuff that they're not censoring. But these guys tend to only focus on the anime type since since uh, censor censorship or whatever. And I don't get it, but they bring it up all the time. And it kind of like, it just puzzles me. And I'm like, listen, if if you want to see anime boobs and all that stuff, do you go get your Nintendo Switch or whatever. But always mentioning that, like, it's like, um, like Sony is just censoring every single game and doing this. It's not like they're removing cigarettes. It's not like they're removing guns or blood or anything else. I mean, uh, from what I understand, one game, that they did kind of alter, uh, I think the butt, uh, the butt cheek or something from a chick or whatever. They ended up reversing course on it and letting it be seen. And these guys have been outraged ever since. But yeah, they, well, they talk they, about it. They talk yeah. about it nonstop, and it's like, geez, come on, man, like get, get over it. Well, if you they're don't trying to use it as a slam call. Go, go yeah, their, their priorities are fucked some, up. Some weird old stuff or, or whatever you like, just whatever floats your boat. Just get it. But the point that they're making is not really valid because. Sony is practically one of the only ones with mature rated games that show the graphical stuff, the the blood, uh, the sex stuff, the 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 gore, the the topics that nobody wants to touch. Let me tell you something. And and looking at the Nintendo community, there's a lot of sexual deviance in games. <laughs> yeah, <Rex. laughs> no. yeah. Like like you know, remember Dreams Beta came out and they have leaked footage. You saw like. Uh, recreation of PT demo. You see mm -hmm. Star Wars. You see a recreation of of other games and shit like that. Dead you know, space and shit. Dead space. A recreation of Dead Space. People thinking, oh, we're gonna try to recreate Crackdown Three just to make fun of Xbox. You see all this stuff, right? I'm like, holy shit! You know, these dudes are doing shit that's like, man, that's just some crazy shit, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the stage creating thing came out for Smash, and I'm thinking, oh man, these dudes are gonna create some crazy shit. And what ended up coming out was like a huge fox with a penis fucking the earth. Yes. Princess that, uh, trash who GameStop. Exactly. Like, like you see this weird shit, right? And it's this anime dudes and it's all the anime dudes. You understand know yep. what I'm saying? And it's like, yo, it's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like this shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they're really, they're really testing the waters of, and, and, and you know what? 
I guarantee there's some pedophilic dudes in games. Oh, you, you, there you is. Know. That's that's not even a lie. There is. Uh, that's there yeah. is. That's and, they're, and, they're, and they're and they're and what's funny is here's the thing. This is what I feel sorry for. There, there are fans. There are fans who believe in our, in artistic integrity, right? Yeah. Those fans. There's fans who really truly believe that there shouldn't be censorship, right? The problem yeah. is these pedophiles are pretending to be those guys, and yep. they're convoluting the point. And the guys who are truly about artistic freedom, they're not noticing it. They're not noticing that they're being used by yep. these fucking sexual deviants. There's these fuck, <laughs> you know, there's these dudes who like cartoon looking characters that look like kids and their excuses, oh, but they're not real children. Like, motherfucker, that's not the point. Mentally, you know what you're doing. You're attracted to a mental image of a kid perceived through a cartoon. Exactly. You know, when I tell you guys with the censorship, you have to realize you're being used. You know, by these fucking sexual deviants. Like, that's why I didn't get involved. Like, I believe in creative freedom. Trust me, I believe in creative freedom. I believe that an artist <laughs> creates a thing as long as it's within the legal bounds, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. They should have that vision. But you're not going to suck me into this fucking pedophilic shit. You know, exactly. you're not. Nah, that's why I didn't like. That's why people, Puerto Rico, we ain't making a video. Because I'm not making nothing that gives these pedophile sexual deviants an edge. Hell right. not. You're not using me on this shit. Right. You're not grouping me. I see that shit. I mute it. I don't want to see. I don't even want to see those images on my timeline. You're yeah. not these pedophiles. Because remember, a pedophile is not a fucking idiot. They're manipulist. Yep. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They manipulate. They they thrive on manipulating people. That's how they get what they want. You understand yep. what I'm saying? They manipulate. So these fucking these fucking dudes are manipulating authentic gamers who are trying to. You know, protect artistic integrity, and they don't see it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I don't get in this topic. I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna fight because you can't see Katana's nipples. Like, <laughs> I'm, not I'm not. I'm not doing that. That's not. I'm not doing that. I'm a grown ass man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? With a child. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. With a daughter. I'm just, and a wife. I'm just confused by about this shit, bro. Like, is, are these that. games or are we on a fucking porn site? <laughs> yeah, they say like real talk. It's like what the fuck are these games or fucking porno simulations? Porn, 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 porn home's number one on PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I guess that that yeah, is crazy. Get your man. chub on. Yeah. But <laughs> no, nah, here's the thing though. When you ask somebody to like, when you ask these same people, right? Okay, how about how come y'all don't show this energy to shit like these companies fucking us over by giving us half incomplete games yeah. and charging us sixty, eighty dollars for the complete experience? I love how there's no outrage shit like that for right. There's no like demand for change. You know, oh. Call of Duty is still in the same shitty state that is in. Don't give me that bullshit. Yeah, it's new engine. engine since fucking 360. Since Quake. Exactly. It's yeah. like, bro, I don't care that he told us it's a new engine. They said that what? For Call of Duty Advanced oh. Warfare? Yeah. Yeah, Carlos. he found out with the exact same engine. Like this one. Uh, yeah. Carlos, shout out to Carlos. Super chat. He says in Furious 1, you need some nickel derm for that Gears. Mmm, bozo. Oh, shit. We're bad, man. That, yeah, that's, that's a, that's gears, a, gears, 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 if it's They're going to yeah, fight with cool. nerf, nerf guns. Yeah. And then if they talk true. about censorship on Sony games, but I'm like, I don't see a single motherfucker talking about how Microsoft is censoring cigarettes. Yeah, I don't fucking know. That, yeah, that's, and I say that. And I say that. I say that. I don't that don't really make sense. Y'all censoring <laughs> cigarettes. Like, they you censor know? Xbox Live. You know, now, now there's only certain things you can sell on Xbox Live. They, But again, they're wanting to do business with Nintendo, and Nintendo is now driving that bus. Over there, hopefully people understand that, and this, um, this let it go, let it go, because the <laughs> harder they make this, you know, the more they resist, the harder it's going to be on them when the truth does get revealed in about seven more months. I mean, Andrew Wilkins, right out super, he says that FN FC violence switches up his voice to sound like no. Yo, these white dudes when he on podcast with them, that coon also reported me on Twitter. Yo, yo. Damn. <laughs> yo, Zimmerman, Zimmer, yo, when he did that clip and I heard SC Violent on, on Saltier's game thing, I was like, oh, shit, this dude mm -hmm. is a completely different dude. I was like, yo, this is, yo, um, that's just beyond P. You know, that's just, <laughs> that's, that's just yo, Carlos, he's the furious one. The only fishy thing is your hot dog breath. Oh, oh shit. Oh, my God. God. Damn. No, all right, I'm over here getting jealous. Yeah, bro, what the hell is going on in this chat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I was going in on the first one. Oh, shit. El Matador. 
Five dollar super trade says it's sad to see gears getting treated like Game Pass game with no marketing around it. Thanks, Phil. Well, I think the marketing is coming. Yeah, I ain't gonna yeah, lie. That's a coming. good question for everybody in the chat. Have y'all seen any ads for Gears of War Five? No commercial. Uh, no, you're not I, I, get it. no you're subways. Not no, you're not having seen shit for Gears of War Five. That's gonna, bad. Not, this is what I'm telling people. This is why. Listen, all right. So when I tell people about Game Pass, the actual system itself of where gamers can play a lot of games for ten dollars a month. I'm not questioning that from a perspective of the gamers. I'm cool with you know gamers having access to a lot of games at a cheap price. That's not what I'm arguing at. What I'm arguing is at these cheap prices spread across 200 games, how is this system going to fund new big triple A games? Well, AAA that's games what they cost yeah, too no. much money, right? Yeah. So it costs too much money. So you're not gonna see Microsoft develop from their first party a lot of big triple a games because the system's not going to be able to fund new gears of war games new halo games new forza game but then on top of that a bunch of new triple a games it doesn't make that much money right <coughs> another cost you're going to see that's not going to be part of that is the marketing marketing is a lot of money like if you could like what sony did with spider-man and got a war oh that's yeah. a lot of money again yeah. you're not going to see that with game pass money you can't Game Pass cannot Game Pass cannot generate at ten dollars a month at a full ten thousand a month, make enough money, right, to give every publisher that has that game on Game Pass, which is a, which is around two hundred games, get a cut for all of them. While on top of that, brand new big triple A's that cost sixty dollars, well now they're playing it for ten dollars a month, right? And then on top of that, new triple A's, like, all, it's not generating that much money. You know what I'm saying? It's not at ten dollars a month. That's that's insane. Yeah. You know, some of these games are like three, four hundred million dollars. Really? Yeah. Well, actually, yeah. they can yeah. fund it. You need to understand that. But at, like J Dub has said, if they're going to be third party, they're going to approach Sony eventually with all their titles. If yeah. they haven't already approached them already, we know they approached yeah. them about Halo. We know it's been they've been approached. So, and that Sony said no. If Sony calls them up and says, "Yeah, you know," Sony what? said no. They're retarded. Yeah, but Sony said no. So yeah, again, so they can fund the games, but they have to put them on other platforms yeah. in order to do it. But again, Fable, I, I assume is coming out. Um, you know, we're going to get a, a we'll, we'll probably get a very wonderful motorsports game uh, coming out with the Scarlet. I'm I'm looking forward to that uh, for yeah. my PC. You know, but uh, it's it is what it is, guys. I just don't. I don't. I, I'll give credit here. A lot of them are no longer arguing. A lot of their podcasts, as predicted, are shutting down, are slowing down. They are losing views because I'm king of the Xbox community, so I check on those things. So mm -hmm. it's 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 going to. They're gonna. There's nothing to report except maybe you know something called ray tracing. You know, well, they're going to have hardware accelerated ray tracing, but they don't understand. AMD does not even have a card right now physically made in the public that does ray tracing at all. The new cards right now don't do it. And I'm an, AM, I'm an AMD guy. Their new cards right now don't do it. So miss me with that bullshit. Shout out Carlos. He out there. He, like, he said, FC violent out here frauding. On complete <laughs> <game>. <laughs> Motherfucker, he ain't beat that he's gone because he lied about that. Spent 20 Why minutes. Why about it? I don't know. Spent 20 minutes. Because it's, it's fun. It's fun to lie, bro. It's fun to like, lie. Like, yo, I beat Gears 4. Like, yeah. what the fuck now, is we doing you know, here? Put a rock, you know what happened? It was it was on his other account because he got like 10. Oh, 10 every yeah. Xbox. I beat this on this account and then I beat that on that account for whatever. Yo, if every Xbox dude has like four or five accounts. So if that's the case, then Microsoft don't really have 60 million users per month. They got like 30 million. Exactly. Because half of them is two accounts for each for each. Like, man, come on. Stop it, man. This is, this is another thing I want to talk about. Like, little by little, we're noticing dudes who didn't really play these Xbox games. No, there's a reason Phil Spencer. That's the reason why they don't have secrets, and, and Phil Spencer put games everywhere else, right? If they weren't, if they weren't buying them, they got to do something to offload those games. So they started offering them everywhere else. 
Well, like, did you hear saying that see and CMDs and people left their Xboxes on to make it look like they were playing? Yeah, they dude, were work. <laughs> means that they're not, here's the thing. If you really don't like the games in real life, like if you're not really playing the games in real life, right? Mm-hmm. Why the fuck are you? Why are you promoting it? Why, why are you Wonder Woman for, for the company then or for the console? Why you got your Wonder Woman braces on? Like, yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand. Like me, you guys know I can't stand handhelds from Sony. I think they suck. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna go defend the veto. Like for what? It didn't do nothing for me. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. If you really don't like the games, why are you out there pretending you like the console and shit like that? Like, what is the console really doing for you? If you ain't beating the games, if you're not out there actually playing and beating the games, then what? What's the point? What is? It's not doing anything for you. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm sorry. I gotta. I gotta run. I gotta. My wife got a flat tire, so I need to run and try All to. Right, take care. Oh, oh shit. Hey, be safe, bro. All right, be safe, bro. Boobenberg, five out. He says, Gear Studio Head said he wanted no SIGs in his game. But I got to wait for campaign gameplay for Gears 5. This man's a bozo. Get him the fuck out. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I think the PC community, they they will mod. They they will mod um, this for PC. And we will have cigarettes and probably be yeah, I mean, that's kind of sad that we have to mod something that's been a staple in any mature game, I can game. <laughs> and i just got my uh invitation to go on to black youtube so i i'm gonna get out of here too it's just it's, it's something that's going on man it's just something that's going on so i've been asked to partake in the conversation tonight so no lord <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just mean I, I love seeing. Uh, I loved it when J Dub went on to those Xbox podcasts and this stuff, and, and people are still mad. I mean, in the comment section, they mad. They're talking about the power of the of the Scarlet. It's like, dude, they're gonna both do the same damn thing. And, I mean, even it, it, you know, that's that's what people got to really understand. I don't care if you got a ten seventy and somebody else has a friggin' ten eighty. They're gonna both do the same damn thing. You can both go in. You can both play your games at 4K if you want, or 1080p or 1440p. It's just gonna it's gonna be like it was back in the day when we walked into the store and you had the Nintendo stuff there, you had the Sega stuff there, you had Neo Geo, and you just whichever system you had, that's what you went with. And uh, that, that's mm. what we're going. To, that's what we're going to see. Thank God. When did he? Uh, when was he on the show? Who? Oh, J Dub was on Matt's Matt's gaming show maybe Sunday or Monday, uh-huh. and uh, then he went on to the big Xbox show. Um, I think that was Tuesday because that shocked me to see so it was him on crap, on crap show. Yeah, he was on that show. I mean, oh, he was on that show. and <laughs> allegedly, uh, well, he you know I'll let him break what he said, but uh, yeah, so have to wait to see. But uh, the fact that that um, and shout out to J Dub City, the fact that he's able to do that. I mean, I always say to people, if you're looking for something that signifies a symbol that signifies the end of the console war, that if that doesn't do it for you, nothing else will. That if that doesn't do it, for you, nothing else will. So that, that's you all being retarded. So, yeah. But I do have to jump on off here. Thanks for the vine, Porter Rock, and uh, yeah, you all keep it moving. All right, good no night, doubt, man. Bro. You be good, man. Yep. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. Let me see. All right. So I think we cut it out right here. Sure, man. We did a quick podcast, talked about some bullshit, cut it up and shit like that. Yeah, good for sure. For sure. Yo, yo, Twit. Yo, yo, big congratulations on your 5K again. Oh, same to you, my brother. That's Thank good you. shit, man. We blowing up. All right. But anyway, yo, yeah. thanks for rocking out. You know, we got that quick ad hoc 60 frames, no like podcast. Thanks for looking out and rocking out with us, man. Y'all be good and shit and keep it gaming. You know what I'm saying? This is your boy, Porter Rock 77. Far from home. Go see that. Oh, I saw that shit. I saw that what shit you thought lit. about it. That shit was lit. I loved it. Did you? I I mean, I thought it was okay. I thought it was good. The reason why I liked it so much, I, I like the the imagery, how they did Mysterio. I love that portion. Well, Some I gotta admit, they, they nailed they nailed this like the yeah. The gimmick, you know. Yeah, they, the gimmick, the gimmick behind them. They, yeah, they, they did a good that. job. Yeah, I will say it probably could have used some other elements as opposed to like some of the cliche type shit that we know for. Yeah, you know, I, I don't want to spoil too much because I know the movie's still pretty recent, so I don't want to yeah, spoil it. You can tell that off air if you want to. <laughs> like yeah, but yeah, but there's yeah, there's some issues I had with the movie. 
Like some yeah. things, some things I had, but overall it's a good thing. I will rock it. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Carlos Fernandez for our super chat says, and first one is a prime example of why drugs are not okay to consume low brain cell count. God damn. <laughs> this man trying to kill people in the chat. This guy is this guy is <laughs> killing you, bro. You understand know what I'm saying? That's that's why they got rid of cigarettes. <laughs> yes, he's like metal, you, bro. bro. You go okay. ahead there, bro. Oh shit. You know what I'm no. saying? All right. Oh, for the love of God, to everybody who's watching, do not go watch Child's Play. Please do not go see that. I wasn't. You know what? I knew. I knew that was. I took one for the team. Like, I thought, you Nobody, know what? When they, when, they, when they told me it was about a robot, right? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, like, it's like an Apple product. I'm like, it's like a robot that goes wrong or somebody hacked into it. I'm like, that's not a scary movie. Like, that's, yeah. not, that's not what Child's Play is about. The thing it's about, about Charles Play is about a, a fear of supernatural shit. This ain't yeah. supernatural. If, if anything, that's like, all right, no shit. A dude hacked into a system. What's the difference between that and a person hacking into a nuclear power plant and setting it off? It's the same thing. <laughs> exactly. You know what it really is, though? Um, yeah. You remember that Will Smith, mo uh, Smith movie? It was called iRobot. It's basically that. Oh, my God. That so is blue, because it's color-coded. You know what I'm saying? Blue eyes means it's good. Red it's means right. it's hostile. So yeah. it's, it's the exact same. It's the exact same. And that's some stupid shit, man. It <laughs> is. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I knew not to watch that. I'm like, yeah. get the I'm not, yeah, fuck that. All right. So anyway, <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, so I appreciate it, man. My man calls right here, bodied in Furious One. So that alone made the podcast worth it. Y'all take care, all right? And yeah, hey, stay tuned. I might load up on my Days Gone review tomorrow. I beat it. A couple of days ago, in fact, I actually platted it. I didn't think I was gonna plat the game, but I just ended up platting it. I was like, "Oh shit!" I was kind of amazed about that. Oh, I got two of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't it took like it took like a lifetime to feel like for that your damn love. Red wrong. Dead. Oh, that game is fucking wild. Red Dead. Oh my god, Red Dead. No, Red Dead. It took you like a lifetime. I'm like, God damn, no, it's I four months. I do, actually, I do Red Dead faster <laughs> than Days Gone. Because Red yeah. Dead, I started playing Red Dead. It, it came out in October. I didn't start playing it till like November, a little uh -huh. bit. Thanksgiving and I and I already had to be by December. This yeah. fucking game I've been playing it since April. I was like, God damn, this shit is long. You must did like, every like fuck? side quest. Like, you did every side quest. Yeah, I did. I, I did. I did. Yeah. Like, after, like after like it like after the third camp, things yeah. started up, and especially the hordes. I the started, hordes I really do add a new element to it. That's why I said in my review, like I like that element of it a lot. But it's like, yeah, the hordes after that. Good. <laughs> but it, it took too long to develop. I would say that's the problem. I mean, ultimately, it started picking up, and the only but the only reason why I stuck with it is because everybody was saying, "Yo, stick with it, stick with it," you know. Um, mm -hmm. and and fucking, I was like, "All right, let me stick with it," you know. Even though motherfuckers said the same shit about Red Dead, and that didn't happen. Yeah. Fuck it. I mean, I mean, let me see. And it did pick up, but it took way too long to pick up. I'm like, oh, my doesn't God. catch up to like the last. I would say God. act. Damn. Shit. The you know, thing is, you don't know if you're at the last act. That, yeah, that's the thing. I didn't even know when you I, don't know. You know, everybody talked about the third camp. Man, no one told me there's like two more camps after that. I was like, oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> this game is long. And then you had to go back. I was like, oh, shit, this game is crazy. You know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. shit's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man. Yeah, hey, thanks for rocking out with us. I hope you enjoyed the podcast. I hope you enjoyed you know, us shooting the shit. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? Check out, you know, Big Clouds Gaming Podcast. I mean, you still do yours on Fridays? Yes, sir. Every yeah. Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern time. We just uh, got done with ours a few hours ago. So uh, definitely we'll give it a listen if you uh, want to. Definitely. There you go, man. Load up on his channel and uh, rock out. But anyway, this is your boy, Porter uh, Rock. Appreciate you. Uh, let me get this out the way. Shout out to you. Appreciate the invite. And, oh, yeah. Uh, like always, it's always good to talk to you here on this channel. And uh, if you ever need it, you know, need anything, hit me up. Sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Anyway, you guys take care. Peace. Let me, let me finish this up. Let uh, all right. And